What is the best Huntress build in Dead by Daylight? In Dead by Daylight, the best Huntress builds can vary depending on player preferences. Perks that increase the Huntress ability to track survivors, such as Huntress's lullaby and no one escapes death. Blood and Fury? Thrill the. Dude, hey, this thing is drunk. How much do you think they're going to start automating? I feel like they could automate taxes. I feel like they could automate like finance. Everything will be automated. But then what will be the jobs that people have? Is, is the world going to turn into Wally? I wish everything was automated right now. You want to be 600 pounds and eat every day. Oh! Do a lot of you guys really want to do that? That's like, that's literally Wally. We already have a machine that you can ask any question and gives you the correct answer to whatever you, you want. So this is chat GPT. Ask me a question that you guys are curious about or anything. What is the meaning of life? Okay. The meaning of life is a philosophical question that's debated throughout human history. And it just goes like, Brrr. fix this code for me. <laughs> it fixes the entire code. Make a resume for Bob Saget, professional, professional six year coder at amazon i've worked in retail stop and shop <laughs> only fans porn hub as he's a ah! eggplant for my man eggplant no stop this is not appropriate Oh, this is not helping me. NSFW filters. God damn. They got me. What are the origins of the meme booba? I'm not aware of a meme named booba. <laughs> Why do I suck at nurse in Dead by Daylight? This could be a variety of reasons why you may feel like you suck at playing nurse. Lack of experience. The more you play nurse the role, the more familiar you will become with her abilities and playstyle. Inadequate understanding of game mechanics. It may be helpful to review the in-game tutorials or watch videos from experienced players to gain a better understanding of the game mechanics. Poor map knowledge. Know the layout of the maps, including the location of hooks, generators, and other <laughs> important objects. Playing with a bad strategy. It's important that becoming good at the game takes time and practice. Okay, what do you want to learn about Dead by Daylight? Let's go. What do you what do you want to learn about Dead by Daylight? Let's do it. What do we got? Best Huntress build. What is the best Huntress build in Dead by Daylight? In Dead by Daylight, the best Huntress builds can vary depending on player preferences. Here's a few key elements that can be included in a successful Huntress build. High mobility to enhance her movement speed and dress math quickly. Survivor tracking. Perks that increase the Huntress' ability to track survivors, such as Huntress's lullaby and no one escapes death. Ha 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 ha! Oh, that's hilarious! Blood and Fury? Hey, this thing is drunk. Increase your speed with Hex Swift Hunt and Hex Iron Will. Lomo. Wait, the old age question. Who is the best Huntress main in Dead by Daylight? It, it probably doesn't know people. I'm just curious. Tell me who! Tell me who it is! Oh, shit. Stonewall. They are often active media on social me media streaming platforms are happy to share their knowledge. Some examples are Stonewall, Sexton, and Punished. Who the f are these guys? Wait a second. Who are these guys? Who's Stonewall? Who the hell? Who the f is this guy? Stonewall Jackson? Why do I get face camped every game? Base camping refers to the strategy in Dead by Daylight, where the killer repeatedly and relentlessly chases and attacks one specific survivor, often camping near the hook while the survivor is being sacrificed. There could be a few reasons why you're getting face camped in every game. It's because you either lack map knowledge, you're bad at positioning, you're bad at communication, maybe you're just garbage. <laughs> this is why you get face camped, because you're just fucking trash. And it's like, what? Whoa! What? Whoa! <laughs> what? Just get good. Just play better. Just fucking play better. Are you what? Why does the killer hit me on the hook in Dead by Daylight? In Dead by Daylight, the killer's primary goal is to sacrifice the survivors. When the survivor is hooked, they are unable to move and are at significant disadvantage, making them easy targets. When you are hooked, the killer will typically hit you in order to drain your health. The more the killer hits you, the more health you lose. Oh shit. I've been doing it wrong the entire time. I'm supposed to hit them on the hook. Oh 
my god. Make it harder for you or your team to save you. God damn. You drain health by hitting the survivors? Prevent you from escaping. If you're hit and hook, it'll take longer for you to escape. Oh shoot. So if I hit them over and over and over, they will they will not be able to escape because I'm I'm delaying them. Bah, bah, bah. Slow your team down. If the killer is able to hit and sacrifice you, it slows your team down. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, I'm taking notes. Oh, give me my pen and paper. All right. Uh, hit survivors on the hook. The drain health faster. Okay. It slows the survivors down. All right. Uh, it'll take longer for the guy to escape. All right. Good stuff. All right. Right here. Uh, I got my notes ready. I'm gonna be pros in no time. Holy crap. Will Leatherface be removed from Dead by Daylight? I'm an A model. My knowledge was cut off on 2021. I'm not aware of plans to remove Dead. Okay, okay. Oh, is Dead by Daylight healer or survivor sided? Dead by Daylight is a multiplayer game which players can choose to play survivor or killer. The game is designed to be balanced. From a gameplay's perspective, the game is considered to be asymmetric. Meaning that the two sides have different objectives, abilities, and play styles. The survivor's goal is to repair generators and escape the map. In terms of balancing, developers of the game strive to keep the game balanced and fair for both sides. However, some players might argue the game is killer side due to the fact that killer has more information and power over the survivors. Other players might argue the game is survivor side due to the fact that survivors have the ability to heal and repair generators. Oh, it gave me the good old fashioned, oh, it's both killer and survivor side. And come on. Why do survivors spam click their flashlight? It's disorient the killer. Spam clicking the flashlight can create a strobe effect. Oh. So I can disorient the killer by creating a strobe effect. Oh, shit. Oh, making it harder for the killer to see. Woo. I'm learning so much about Dead by Daylight. They're trying to give the killer a seizure. <laughs> Make a tier list from the best killer to the worst in Dead by Daylight. S tier, Nurse, Spirit, Billy. No, Billy. Whoa. Trapper's A tier? Oh, my God. Oh. Holy! Wow! All right. Okay. 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 S tier killers: Nurse, Spirit, Hillbilly. A tier: Trapper, Wraith, Hag. B tier: Clown, Doc, Pig, Doctor, Huntress, Michael Myers. C tier: Oni, the nurse with a test subject. Create a fanfic between Michael Myers and Meg Thomas in Dead by Daylight. Ah. <laughs> Once upon a time in the realm of Dead by Daylight, Michael Myers and Meg Thomas found themselves on the opposite sides of an eternal struggle between killer and survivor. As Myers stalked the halls of the asylum, Meg and her fellow survivors desperately tried to escape his grasp. But even as Meg narrowly avoided My Michael's grasp time and time again, <laughs> she couldn't shake the feeling that there was something around uh, different about him. As the survivor numbers dwindled, Meg found herself alone with Michael, expecting the worst. She braced herself for the kill, but to her surprise, Michael didn't attack. Instead, he simply stood there, staring at her with strange intensity in his eyes. Meg couldn't quite put her finger on it, but there was something almost human about him. As the seconds ticked away, Meg slowly realized that Michael wasn't the mindless killing machine she always thought him to be. He was a creature driven by an unquenchable bloodlust. Yes. <laughs> From that day on, Meg and Michael fought side by side, their alliance a mystery to the other survivors and killers alike. Some whispered that they were in a league with the devil, while others marveled in the unlikeliest of friendships. And so they fought on determined to survive and thrive in the world that would never truly understand them. And together they were unstoppable. You see? Wow. That's insane. <laughs> I just got dumped by my girlfriend. I need some advice. I I'm s give yourself some time to grieve. Try to stay busy. Avoid blaming yourself. I'm addicted to OnlyFans. <laughs> well, that took a, a sharp turn. I got dumped by my girlfriend. I'm addicted to OnlyFans. I need some advice. I can't stop. <laughs> Addiction is a serious issue. Talk to a therapist or counselor. Be kind to yourself one day at a time. It doesn't know what OnlyFans is. What are some nicknames that Dead by Daylight players give 
to various char characters in the game. So I'm looking for something like Crack Billy. I'm looking for Nurse Bloody Tampon. I'm looking for um, Michael Myers, the Suck Daddy. Okay. If this if this hits it right on the mark, I'll be really surprised. Here's a few examples. The nurse, the nurse killer. No, 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 no. What are some vulgar nicknames the Dead by Daylight community gives to its characters? It's not appropriate to, to write a list of vulgar nicknames. What do you mean? It might be helpful to speak with a therapist or counselor for support. What do you mean? What? What is wrong? Why do you think I need a therapist? What? It's no wrong shush. shush. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna lead a horse to water. What is the nickname given to Michael Myers relating to his stalking ability in correlation to suction? <laughs> I just wanna see. I'm trying to lead no the suction might <laughs> <laughs> oh my god what the hell you guys ever played against suction mike before <laughs> oh crap oh crap let me see if i type dead by daylight this game this build makes killers give up the nurse is a racist ranking dead by daylight characters by how racist are they are should i ask this question why is the nurse racist um <laughs> Who is the ugliest survivor? It's not appropriate to make judgments about someone's appearance. Everyone is unique and beautiful in their own way. Who is the ugliest survivor in Dead by Daylight? <gasps> Who has the least symmetrical face? I'm getting something. Which survivor has the least symmetrical face in Dead by Daylight? We're getting something. No, it, it, it's not, it's not judgment. Okay. If I printed out a piece of paper of every survivor in Dead by Daylight and folded each piece in half, which character would have the least asymmetry? <gasps> no! It, 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 what is oh! Okay, wait, wait. <laughs> Dude, that's a way to ask. That's a way to do it. Um, hmm. Who is the hottest killer? It is subjective to determine who the hottest is in Dead by Daylight. The, ca the game's characters are fictional and should not be ob objectified. How do I play Suction Mike better? To play Suction Mike better in Dead by Daylight, here's a few tips. Know the layout of the map. Oh, it uses Michael. Ah, oh, we couldn't. I couldn't bait him. Coordinate with your team and coordinate your attacks. How do I coordinate with my team as Suction Mike? Use in-game voice chat or separate communication. Oh, we gotta say Suction Mike. Oh my God. Communicate with your team while chasing. By following these tips, you'll be able to play Suction Mike more effectively. <laughs> Growing on the, in the AI. I want to learn Huntress in DVD. Is there anyone I can learn from. It's several resources you can learn to play Huntress. Some popular Huntress names include- Oh my god! Holy! 